So welcome back to Morant's Rants. Plenty of good information, a little bit of motivation, a whole lot of truth, no financial advice. So you guys remember that I did Connecting Dots Part 20 about Mullins, and I say it plural, but it's Mullin Automotive. Um, and then I highlighted at the very end about Lawrence, and the guy is named Lawrence Hardage, and he's, you know, he's a fool. He doesn't know it yet, but he's getting conned by these guys, my opinion, and made all these videos, and I, and I showed him, you know, how he's talking about uh, Mullins and now it's gonna be so great and blah 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 and I said oh, this is all bullshit It looks like they just used him to prop up the stock price for 10 days so they can get you know Stop being delisted or whatever it may be um, But sure he went out there fed it. I saw him reading a ransom letter essentially uh, And I saw the guys in the background doing whatever they're doing with a shaky camera and Kind of like I'm doing right now with my elbow on the dash. No, but guys, let me tell you something uh, this gentleman Lawrence deleted all of his social media and or put it on private yesterday. Uh, I think he kind of figured it out. You know, you can't be out here pushing out a stock or a company, no matter how you call it, without investors knowing the truth of what's really happening. Look at the balance sheet, look at how it's all gonna play out. And I'm telling you, I don't care who supports David Mitchery, he has a history of doing the wrong thing, of doing whatever the hell he's gonna do, drive the company to zero? Well, let's find out together. I'm just watching, I'm just saying. I don't have an investment in there. I don't care what they do. It's all alleged, whatever he has done in the past. But I will tell you something, it's pretty connecting the dots -y. That's all I'm gonna say. All right, hey Lawrence, don't go in hiding just because I make one video. I'm not gonna take credit for it either. I think I, I think you're shook, I think, you're, I think you kind of figured it out by now. And maybe it only took you a couple of months, but yeah, $5 million that you were promised? Oh, I hope you have good lawyers. Peace.